Welcome to Rebuke All Devils Radio, 107.7, home of the truth. Subscribe to our channel and receive breaking news, world news, along with a variety of true music on our playlist. If you would like to join us or advertise, email us at Rebuke All Devils Radio, 107.7 at yahoo.com, home of the truth and show Wow. And welcome back to another edition of Rebuke All Devils Radio, 107.7, home of the truth. And we got this story courtesy of the Black Enterprise, right? Zion Wade stuns Instagram in new posts featuring flowing long hair. Now, if y'all ain't familiar with who this is, this is a 15-year-old boy. This is the son of of basketball star Dwayne Wade. This is his son. This is a little boy that was born biologically a male and that is still biologically a male. Zion Wade left no crumbs in his new look debut. The 15 year old bud and fashion icon posted to Instagram yesterday, stunning the internet in glowing portraits with flowing long hair. The son of former NBA baller Dwayne Wade revealed the new look seemingly in partnership with luxury jewelry Tiffany & Company. Captioning the post, dreams become reality at Tiffany & Company, hashtag Tiffany Lock. His hairstyle and a high half ponytail stole the spotlight despite being dressed in a sleek black top to highlight the gold accent bracelet with a price tag of $6,800. Now remember, remember, this is a boy we're talking about. A little boy that they that they doing this to. Okay? This is what this is what Dwayne Wade has allowed to happen to his son. And remember the Bible said, the most I said, he created male and female. Them he created. So when he creates you as a male, then that's how the most high wants you to be to be. When he creates you as a female, that's how the Most High wants you to be. He don't want you to do this to your son. He don't want you to do this to your son. This is a child that they doing this to. And I am totally against that, man. He was met with overwhelming love and uh, adoration in his comment section, catching the attention of stars like Little Nas X, Candace Parker, Jeremy Pope, Tabitha Brown, and Skya Jackson, among others. This new look is unlike many others the teen has worn, and opposite of his signature sponge afro. Earlier this month, the LGBTQ advocate came to slay in long ombre locks and the business chick, uh, chick in, uh, in symbol, promising a Way World Tour Summer 23, read his caption. Now, once again, this is a, this is a little boy. And when I grew up, little boys was little boys and little girls was little girls. And no matter what this little boy do, just telling the truth, this is a little boy. This is a little boy. This is, this is not a little girl, and that'll never be a little girl. That is a little boy right there. And that is what the Bible also called confusion. Because if we're just going to tell the truth, then the truth is that's a little boy. He was born a, a male and he will always be a male. That's just what the truth is. And that's why I really trip out on situations like this. Because they want you to be mad. And they want you to lie. And bear false witness. When the truth is. That is a boy. And remember when we go to, when we go to court. We swear to tell the truth. And the whole truth so help you God. One of the ten commandments is thou should not lie. So that is a little boy. That is not a her. That is a he. And that's just what the truth is. Zion Instagram, and, and speaking of his name, that is a holy place in Israel. On top of that. Zion Instagram is stacked with high-end fashion looks and photo shoots. 
already modeling for brands like Gucci and Fendi. Last month, Dwayne filed a petition with the Los Angeles Superior Court that would allow his son to no longer go by her, his dead name and change it to Zaya uh, Malaka, whatever way. So once again, if that was a girl, he wouldn't have to be filing no kind of petitions or anything like that. During the 2020 appearance on the Ellie DeGeneres show, the star baller shared with the audience that Zion knew about his decision to transition since before his teenage years. Our then 12-year-old came home and said, hey, I want to talk to you guys. I think going forward, I'm ready to live my truth and I want to be referenced as she and her. And I would love for you guys to call me Zaya, he revealed. So once again, that go the proof. That go the proof. You see, it? you see that go the proof that he's a boy. I think going forward, I'm ready to live my truth and I want to be referred, referenced as she and her. If he was a female, he wouldn't have to want to be referenced as a female. This is the proof that that's a little boy. That's why this is madness and it's really disturbing on so many levels that you putting women clothing and lipstick on male children. And I know there's a lot of people like me that see something wrong with it. And I know a lot of people that promote this. And in this country where you have a freedom of choice, then you also have the freedom to say that this is wrong and I don't agree with it. Because that's a that's a male child. And the most high said, just on the cool. Uh the most high said in, 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 in Deuteronomy chapter twenty two and five that the woman should not wear it that that pertained to a man, and the man should not wear that which pertained to a woman. All that do so is an abomination. And as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and pull that up right quick. Let's go ahead and pull that up right quick. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Let's go there. Deuteronomy, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So this is how the Most High feel about that. All that do so are an abomination to the Lord thy God. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. For all that do so are an abomination to the Lord thy God. You see? That's what the most high think and feel about these type of situations. See? The most high created man for woman. He didn't create Adam and Steve. For all that do so is an abomination. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. For all that do so are an abomination to the Lord thy God. And that's why it is so important. So important to keep the laws, statutes, and commandments. Because when you bring when you bring a child up in the right way and you show them what the truth is, that's going to make your children make the best decision possible. Because you got to think about it. He said at 12 years old, what child is thinking about any kind of sex at 12 years old? That's the real question. Because I, I know when I was 12 years old, I wasn't thinking about no sex. Man, I was thinking about getting this new bike. I had a paper route. I was getting paid. I was making money. I was getting uh, uh, little knick-knocks from garage sales and buying them for my mama and my grandma and them. 
you know what I'm saying? I was getting ready to go up into junior high school, you know what I'm saying? And I was already playing football. I was already running track. You know what I'm saying? I was already boxing, you know? So when I was 12 years old, those were the kind of things that was on my mind. N nothing, nothing like this ever crossed my mind. Neither did I ever see any other boys look like this or act like this. See? So when we, so when we see things like this, we have to understand exactly what we're looking at. Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We know that's in the, what, what was that, Ephesians 6 and 12? So if we're wrestling against spirits, then we have to ask ourselves, what kind of spirits are we seeing? That are, what kind of spirits are manifesting themselves in these children that we're looking at? The woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Drop your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. And man, there's nothing wrong with turning back to the law, statutes, and commandments. Because as we can see, look at the world today. This is a result of no one keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. They can kill people. They can kill unarmed people. They can kill children. They can have abortions. They can dress little boys up like girls. They can dress little girls up like boys. They doing sex change operations. They, they're, they're giving men breasts. They're doing all of this wicked stuff up under the Lord. The drugs, the prostitution, the human trafficking. I mean, anything you can think of, the lawlessness. This is as a result of not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Because with the law, statutes, and commandments, it's going to give you structure. And you're going to have an understanding of what it is that you can do and what you cannot do. Thus saith the Lord. And I can tell you what, following the law, especially righteous laws, don't make you bad. Shalom.